Welcome back to your viewers. As we said earlier that we are going to talk about a cooperation between Egypt and different African countries, especially Nile Basin countries, in the field of water resources. And to what extent the River Nile can act as a bridge between these countries. And to shed light on this issue, we are joined here in the studio with the prof by Professor Khaled Abdel Hay, Director of Hydraulic Research Institute. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, Dr. Uh, Mahmoud Kamil, a uh, manager of uh, the Regional Training Center. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning uh, sirs. Uh, we we'll start with uh, Dr. Khaled. Dr. Khaled, can you brief us about uh, the, uh, um, the Hydraulic uh, Research Institute? What is the, that institute and when it was established and what are the activities of the institute? Uh, Hydraulic Research Institute is one of the 12 institutes under the umbrella of the National Water Research Center mm. of the Ministry of Water Resources mm. and Irrigation. Mm. Uh, this institute uh, it was established in 1947, so it's mm. really a success story of about uh, 70 years 40, of 1947, it's yeah, quite a long time. Yeah, it was established in 1947. Mm. Uh, so, as I mentioned, it is a success story of about 70 years of experience in solving the hydraulic problems. Uh, the institute uh, is, the, uh, is the research arm of the Ministry of Water Resources and Irrigation in solving the hydraulic problems in the Egyptian irrigation system, mm. network system. Uh, as I mentioned, this is an, as an old institute. It is an old institute, in fact, in the region, in the Middle East and the region. And uh, this institute is a unique institute uh, in conducting a physical scale model, as we may see in yeah. the... Uh, video. Yeah, uh, in the video. Uh, the, uh, we have uh, physical... We, uh, we are uh, very famous in the conducting the physical scale models. So this video, for example, shows a scale model study on the uh, one of the uh, barrage, which is a new assured barrage. Mm. In this physical scale model, we yes. study the flow pattern and study the uh, hydraulic uh, characteristics of the uh, new barrage, new assured barrage. Uh, in fact, we are uh, very famous in this issue uh, in the Middle East and in the region. Mm. Uh, and because we have uh, wide experience, in fact, uh, and uh, based on the, uh, our vision for technology transfer uh, between Egypt and the Nile Basin countries, mm. which we are sharing, this because we are sharing the same basin. Uh, so that was, uh, the idea came to establish the regional mm. training uh, center in HRI, uh, just to uh, make a technology transfer between Egypt and the, uh, Nile, uh, the Nile Basin countries. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, Dr. Mahmoud, uh, as we are talking about the Regional Training uh, Center, can you tell us more about the courses that are offered in uh, this center? Yeah, uh, I'd like to mention that uh, the Regional Training Center yes. has been uh, established and started uh, training in uh, the field of hydraulic and river engineering with support of UNESCO IHE from yes. the Netherlands. And uh, we are... Uh, Regularly, we are organized three courses per yes. year. Mm. The first course is three months uh, regular courses that have been uh, lasted the uh, last three months. And uh, that course is called the Hydraulic Engineering River Business. Mm. And the other course is called Environmental Hydrology for Arid and Semi-Arid Regions. And this course have been started uh, yesterday. The opening ceremony was started yesterday. And the third uh, uh, course is titled uh, Appropriate Management for Land and Water Resources uh, for, uh, uh, for Sustainable Agriculture in Arid and Semi-Arid Regions. Mm. And the last course uh, been uh, in a cooperation between the National Water Service Center and the Tory University in Japan. Mm. Uh, Dr. Khaled, uh, to what extent this uh, um, hydraulic institute and the training uh, center as well are uh, helping in increasing the cooperation between Egypt and uh, uh, the Nile Basin countries in the field of hydraulic uh, um, uh, and water resources uh, uh, fields? 
Yeah, uh, we are training uh, uh, water professionals from the Nile Basin countries. So we increase the capacity uh, of, uh, of these engineers mm. in dealing with the hydraulic problems in the river mm. basin, which is, of course, it's our, it's our basin also. Indeed. This helps in enhancing mm. and improving the water resource management in the Nile Basin, which consequently uh, leads to uh, maximize the efficiency of the uh, water use uh, of the water use in the uh, in the Nile Basin. Uh, also, there is an advantage of this course because uh, uh, the participants from the Nile Basin countries they are considered as an ambassadors for their countries, and they are uh, staying with us for a period, at least one month period. Uh, so uh, they are studying together, uh, eating together, living together in in this period. This is in Hence, the uh, cooperation between the Nile Basin countries, and that's also reflect the uh, b yeah, it, it reflects the uh, cooperation between the uh, between the countries. So, mm. so um, Dr. Mahmoud, um, can you tell us more about the candidates and how can they apply for these training courses, and how do you choose those candidates? Uh, the, the application through. Uh, both things through the websites. Yes. We have a website, so we announce for the, the, our courses in the website. And also through uh, the previous participants who attended our courses. Mm. So we consider them as uh, ambassadors for, uh, for Egypt in their countries. And also we have contact with the Ministry of, uh, of Foreign Affairs because the Ministry of Foreign Affairs support uh, and offered fellowship for these participants. Mm. Uh, so we have a contact with them, so they, they send uh, the brochure of the course to the, our uh, embassies in the nine business countries. Mm. So the, our embassies mm. in the nine business countries contact the Ministry of Water and uh, the spe specialist in water, so they encourage them to apply to our courses. So we receive the application and we have a database uh, for these uh, course participants. Mm. So we have a large, uh, large database and information for the participants from Africa and yes. in particular in mm. the nine prison countries. Uh, still doc with uh, Dr. Mahmoud, can you tell us about the latest training course that you have provided uh, uh, in the yeah, center? The, the last course that have been uh, organized the last three months mm. uh, and this course uh, uh, it is a mix between uh, theoretical and practical training mm. and uh, at the end of the course uh, and uh, I believe sir we are uh, yeah. seeing some photos from yeah, uh, this is uh, some visit uh, mm. to the, the HRI facilities mm. and uh, uh, this is one of the hydraulic uh, models this is a new assume barrage as Professor Khaled mm -hmm. comments mm. uh, uh, after that, this is the library of oh. the National Water Research Center. Yep. So the participant has uh, the opportunity to visit the library and to, to, to borrow the books and the reference books. And uh, they have uh, visited also the center laboratory mm. uh, for water quality monitoring. Mm. This is uh, located in the campus of the National Water Research Center. And our training center have uh, advantage to be there. And this is uh, some uh, visit outside uh, for irrigation museum mm -hmm. in Delta Barrage. And we also visit the planning sector of the Ministry of Water and Irrigation. Mm -hmm. This is the forecasting center and the GIS unit in order to get the experience uh, of the ministry to the course participants. And this is also the center library Mm. located in the Ministry of Water and Irrigation. And this is the photo in front of the main building of the ministry. And also we visit uh, the Nile water sector, which has a cooperation with the Nile basin countries. And the chairman of uh, the Nile water sector welcome uh, with the course participant and have a presentation about the bilateral cooperation between Egypt and the Nile basin countries. Uh, and here uh, visit to El Fayyum Governorate mm. in order to uh, show the participant the irrigation unique scheme 
and, and unit, unit, unit irrigation system and in the drainage system for Fayum and also this is visit for Dina Farm, one of the model farm in the western desert for reclamation of uh, water and use the groundwater for uh, irrigation. And this is for El Salam Canal and this exactly is the siphon under Suez Canal in order to manage uh, the water. And mm -hmm. this is for biological treatment of water of Bahr al -Bakr. This is a pilot project in order to minimize the pollution of the water in Bahr al -Bakr. And after that, they expand the experience to the farmers around. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, the visit for uh, Roda water uh, level gauge. This is the oldest Nile water level gauge all over the, the country. And uh, also we have a visit to Alexandria Library. So the participant has the opportunity to, uh, to visit. And also here, the visit to uh, military museum at uh, Bursaid city. Mm. So we have a group photo. And here, quite uh, by said that this is yes. one, mm. one kind of uh, the social and uh, and the cultural visits to uh, the okay. participants. Going back to you, Dr. Khaled, to what extent the Ministry of Water Resources and Irrigation is uh, supporting the hydraulic research institute? Uh, of course, uh, as I mentioned that. We are a part, in fact, yes. we are a part of the Ministry of Water Resources and Irrigation. And uh, they are uh, support us by providing us with the, uh, uh, of course, they, they, they make a financial support yes. for all these uh, training courses. And uh, they, uh, as uh, Dr. Mahmoud mentioned already, uh, there are some visits. Uh, uh, for the participants to the uh, important projects uh, yes. belongs to the Ministry of Water Resources and Irrigation. Mm -hmm. This is done through the uh, coordination between the Hydraulic Research Institute and the Ministry of Water uh, Resources and Irrigation. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Mohammed, back to the training courses. Uh, what are the training courses provided now by uh, the uh, training center for the Africans and Egyptians? Yeah, uh, we we continue our mission as I mentioned that uh, from two weeks ago we uh, we finished uh, the last course and yeah. we have a closing ceremony uh, and currently we have uh, started yesterday's opening ceremony for uh, one and a half months uh, postgraduate course titled environmental hydrology for arid and semi-arid regions mm. and uh, that course attended by about 18 participants mm. from, 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 from the United Nations countries, from mm. Sudan, South Sudan, Ethiopia, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, mm. Democratic Republic of Congo, and mm. of course Egypt. Mm. So uh, uh, they start already yesterday's opening ceremony, and today they're starting the training activities by the lectures. Mm. So, uh, Dr. Khaled, what are the achievements of the Hydraulic uh, Research Institute? Uh, the Hydraulic Research Institute serves the Ministry of uh, Water Resources yes. and Irrigation. Mm. Uh, so we are contribute in the, uh, in the mega projects. Yes. Uh, for example, here as I mentioned uh, and shown in the video, uh, we do the design hydraulic. We did the hydraulic design for the new Asiut barrage. Yes. And uh, now, currently, mm. we are doing hydraulic design for a uh, new Dairut uh, barrage. Uh, and also, uh, uh, we have the training center uh, to uh, strengthen the cooperation between, uh, between Egypt and uh, the Nile Basin countries. Mm. Uh, uh, we, have, uh, we have our research plan, and all the research plan serve the uh, uh, serve the Ministry yes. of Water Resources uh, and Irrigation. Mm. Uh, sir, uh, Dr. Khalid, uh, what are the main achievements of the Hydraulic uh, uh, Institute uh, up till this moment from your point of view? The most important achievements that we have reached. Uh, we have said that the, the Institute was uh, inaugurated in 1947, which is a long time ago. So what were the main achievements from your point of view up till this moment? Uh, the main achievement just to emphasize about the main achievement, uh, 
uh, is the uh, help the Ministry of Water Resource Center mm -hmm. in uh, the uh, design in the, in the hydraulic design mm -hmm. uh, because we are mainly concerned in the in the hydraulics. Uh, the hydraulic design of the mega projects, as, as I mentioned, the Asim Paraj, the Yurub Paraj, and uh, the other uh, projects. So we already uh, contributed in the uh, Salam Canal, in, uh, in the Toshka projects, and uh, all the mega projects, we are uh, contributed in the, uh, in, in the uh, I mean, that's in, in the ministry, uh, in the design. and. Uh, for the Ministry of the uh, Water Resources water uh, and yeah. Irrigation. Yeah. That's very important. That's our, uh, our, our main task. Also, uh, we are serving not only the Ministry of Water Resources and Irrigation, but also we extend our service. Uh, we offer a consultancy service to the Ministry, for example, to the Ministry of Electricity. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are concerned with the hydraulic design of all the uh, power plants in mm -hmm. Egypt. Uh, for example, we are, we are are involved in the design of uh, Balance Wave uh, Thermal Power Plant. This is the new one. Yes. It's under construction now. Uh, also, uh, the Asut uh, uh, Thermal Power Plant. So, we have also other activities beyond the Ministry of Water Resources and Irrigation. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Dr. Mahmoud, uh, what are the available facilities in the training center? Yeah, we, uh, we have, uh, of course, we have a lecture room, we have uh, uh, computer center equipped with uh, high standard specification yes. in order to serve the participant to uh, to apply the softwares and mm. the programs during their uh, training and also we have uh, library and also we have accommodation center yes. and the restaurant connected with this accommodation center so the participant are uh, only concentrate on study so they uh, they, had, they don't have uh, to concentrate for for accommodation and uh, uh, to to prepare themselves the meals. So we have restaurant to serve the participant, uh, and also one of the advantage of our training center is located in the campus of the National Water Service Center. So we have neighbor institutes. Mm. So uh, according uh, and based on the interest of uh, the course of participants, we have uh, research institute for groundwater. Mm and the Water Resources Research Institute, mm. uh, uh, Center Laboratory for Water Quality. So this is the offers for the participant to contact these institutes for uh, promoting themselves and getting the high degree for master and PhD degree. Mm. Uh, Dr. Mahmoud, uh, to what extent do you feel that after returning back to their countries, the, the Africans who uh, did come and receive training here in Egypt uh, in the your, in the center did benefit and this did create a kind of cooperation between Egypt and Africa in that field. Yeah, of course we have, uh, as I told you before, that we have a big database for uh, the mm. course participants, and after they return back, we have in touch with, uh, with this course participant, mm. and we know that uh, they get benefit from our courses. Mm. Because they do uh, practice what they received here. Yeah, because mm. it's a professional courses course. supported by professional uh, staff from the National Water Service Center, the lecturers themselves, mm. from the National Water Service Center, and also guest lecturer and experts from the Ministry of Water Service and Irrigation. Mm. So uh, the, the, the participants, when they return back, they told us that uh, they apply, for example, for master degree uh, in Germany, in uh, United Kingdom, so uh, Netherlands, so they promote themselves and they uh, uh, send emails for us to thank for uh, this uh, training mm -hmm. in our uh, center. Uh, I'd like just yes, to, to comment, uh, uh, we have also, in, uh, we are hosting in, in Hydraulic Research Institute uh, what we call it the Nile Basin Capacity Building Network. Yes. This is another type of uh, capacity building. Uh, we have a training course, training course is a capacity building, but we have another type of capacity building that's for, uh, we are doing joint projects we are between Egypt and Nile Basin countries. We have uh, clusters. For for, uh, uh, I mean for, uh, for the Nile Basin countries. So, for example, Egypt is concerned with the GIS and remote sensing. Uh, another country is, rem uh, is uh, responsible for uh, sediment transport and morphology. And we end up with 
uh, one project, joint project together. So we learn from each other. Yes. We make technology transfer and data transfer between each other. And then we are talking in the same language and that's enhanced the cooperation between, uh, we know the problem, the problem of each other, of, of course, during these projects. So this enhanced the cooperation between, uh, between Egypt and the the Nile Basin countries on the technical level and consequently it will reflect also the political level. Indeed. Uh, uh, Dr. Mohammed, uh, Dr. Mahmoud, Mahmoud before um, uh, we, we leave, uh, um, I want to know about um, the main challenges that uh, the training center is facing and that you, you, you actually need to be, uh, so it needs to be solved. Or, yeah. or you don't have any funding issue or any problems? In uh, the, the the supporting supporting uh, for our uh, training uh, center mm -hmm. is come from uh, the, ministry. the Ministry of Water and Irrigation mm -hmm. and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Both, and both we, ministries? Yeah, yeah and mm -hmm. we have uh, long history with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs started by uh, the Egyptian Fund for Technical Cooperation with Africa and lastly by uh, Mubadra which is the uh, Egyptian initiative for development in the Nile Basin countries. Mm -hmm. And uh, w from this long experience, we have extended, but uh, uh, we, we need also to, we have to, uh, to contact other uh, sponsors in order to extend, because our courses cover about six months per year, mm -hmm. half a year. And the, the remaining uh, time, we are uh, for preparing the courses and also for organizing such some of tailor-made courses uh, upon request from other clients. Indeed. Yeah. Professor Khaled Abdelhai, uh, Director of Hydraulic Research Institute, thank you for being with us. And uh, Dr. Mahmoud Kamel, um, Manager of Regional Training Center. Thank you for being with us. Yes, um, I believe uh, yes. Shireen, uh, Dr. Mahmoud Kamel uh, uh, will leave us and will stay with Dr. Okay. Khalid as well yes. as we will mm -hmm. be receiving uh, our guest from uh, Sudan uh, to shed light about, about her training experience here yes. in Egypt. Thank you very much, Dr. Mahmoud Kamel, Manager of Regional Training Center. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, our dear viewers, we will go to a short break and after that, we will be back to resume our segment from the breakfast show.